Across America, one of the hottest trends in real estate is a 40-foot long metal box. Container homes are taking the country by storm, apparently, and now the trend has made its way to Tampa Bay. Aside from its unique modern look, buyers are really attracted to the amount of value you can pack into a small box. Mm -hmm. John Rogers joins us now with his special report, Living Small. In an effort to save money on a new home, more and more people are thinking outside the box and choosing to move into one instead. Chances are virtually everything you bought today came from a ship. More than 800,000 shipping containers carry goods into the U.S. each year. However, after that transoceanic journey, most of those containers sit idle. It's cheaper for exporters to get a new container than to ship one back. But Scott Myers and his wife Emily looked at one and thought, I want to live in that. Well, uh, my wife and I, we are really into efficient living and small living. The couple originally considered a tiny house, but they changed their minds after seeing how much bang for their buck they could get with a container home. Theirs will be one of the first of its kind in Tampa. Did you have any worries going into this? Of course, yeah, but we got over them pretty quickly when we realized how cool they were. The pair hired the Tampa firm Sundog Structures. They design and build container homes in a massive warehouse. They build anything from a 5,000-foot office building to a 320-square-foot cabin. It's, it's a, like a building block. They're life-size Legos, if you will. Um, you know, we can combine them in as many configurations as you want. Uh, your imagination can run wild. Container homes are considered sustainable. Sundog Structures obtains single-use 40-foot-long cargo containers that otherwise would sit empty. And it has a lot of attributes that really makes it very, very favorable to typical construction. They're built with the same steel used to build bridges. The containers exceed code requirements for wind resistance. The crush strength of a single container is about 105 tons. But the biggest thing about these pint-sized places is the attractive price. If you look at this bedroom for a shipping container home, this is a good-sized bedroom. Chet Rogowski and his partner Hugo are building a one-bedroom container home with an upstairs office. They're saving $70,000 compared to a similar traditional home. And after insulation is added, it should be more energy efficient. You know, I expect my electric bills to be under 100 bucks a month. The homes can be built on land you own and fast. So while a foundation is laid, Sundog will complete the house indoors in less than 160 days. The paperwork behind a container home is virtually the same as any other house. But for now, you'll need a little patience. While these houses are already found in cities like Miami, Tampa is new to the game. How was it dealing with building codes and permits and all that stuff? Definitely been some hurdles. We're still in the process, <laughs> so we'll let you know soon. The plans are moving along, and these homeowners expect to move in within the next few months. These trailblazers can't contain their excitement for the future. Uh, we're going to pave the way for other uh, potential buyers uh, to take this more serious and, and have a shipping container home as an option for a new home. Municipalities across the state and country are becoming more accepting of this new trend, so it will soon be easier and quicker to move into a container home. That means you'll soon find a house like this in a neighborhood near you. In Tampa, John Rogers, News Channel 8.